followed me. Awesome. If I missed you, Dink, in the chat, because I'm not reading the chat as much as I should be. Um, hello. And uh, I hope you make another video about my redemption, Dink. So this has been going on for a few days now, so this is probably going to be the last thing that I uh, post regarding this whole SMG princess thing. So if you're if you're done with it, then just move on. Go watch something else. But uh, she did a live stream a couple days ago and kind of spread some misinformation. So I thought that uh, I would make a video kind of explaining some stuff that she got wrong. So let's do it. This was the very first tweet that I saw. What did I do to deserve this kind of outburst from this person? Like, not only did he attack me the first time about not having a block button thingy. That's exact. By the way, I was just quoting something that Ed Boon said, and he made fun of me all over the place. It's sad how SMG X Princess has more subs than any other better NRS YouTubers. All she does is make clickbait videos and then denies that it's clickbait. What did I do to deserve this type of bullying? So I think this is an instance which I'm not really sure if I call it bullying because he is just criticizing her content. And as being as a YouTuber, um, if you're having trouble taking this, you <laughs> this might not be the platform for you because there are trolls, there are bullies, there are all sorts of just toxic people online and if you put yourself out there you're definitely gonna find them and they're gonna find you and um, you need to have some thick skin to do what we do I see it all the time almost every video I make there's one or two comments at least that are your oh you suck your gameplay is bad your videos are bad you're fat all this kind of stuff so um, you're just gonna have to get used to this or else jump ship cuz this is just getting started I've never replied that's a DM by the way that's a direct message on Twitter Another one. Look at this. Seriously, why haven't you killed yourself yet? Now that right there is bullying, and that is not okay on any, in any sense. You know, I'm absolutely with her when she says that this is unacceptable. It's stupid. It's not welcome. You know, if you're gonna criticize your content, keep to the content. But telling someone to kill themselves because of a video they made, way too far. It is a problem in the community. I don't know how to fix it. It seems to be there's so many people in the world with so many different backgrounds that it's really hard to to battle something like this, you know, but just being outspoken. And I hope that, you know, you guys that watch my videos would never say, say something like that to a person. So anyways, yeah, side with her on this one. That, that was fucked up. My YouTube manager told me to, um, you know, to up my game a little bit, basically, because my stats were showing only a 8% retention audience, um, and I was supposed to be at at least 10%. So I wasn't there yet. So I needed to, to do clickbait. <laughs> so yes, yeah, yeah, I, I clickbaited a little bit. I admit it. So if what you say is true, you have an absolutely terrible YouTube manager, and that was horrible advice, um, because clickbait... It gets you clicks on a video, but it has like that has zero to do with audience retention. Audience retention is how long of the video the people are actually going to watch. So if you make like a like a five minute video or something of Mortal Kombat 11 is canceled, and you know 30 seconds in, um, you're like, oh, it's well, it's not actually canceled, but people are going to leave because you've misled them, you've deceived them into clicking on your video. That's not going to extend watch time. Watch time is really important on YouTube, and that's really what I think she just doesn't understand, and that's where clickbait kind of, they're trying to kill it right now by in that aspect. So they're rewarding YouTubers for people that stay on the platform longer, watch your videos longer. So if you have a longer video, you know, and uh, it's actually something worth watching, YouTube will reward you for it. So there you go. That's... You consider that free YouTube advice. <laughs> so this is an example. This is my um, viewer retention here. So average view duration is 4 minutes 45 seconds. Um, average percentage view is 37%. So most most people watch almost 40% of all my videos in the last month, which is really good. I think that's quite good. So that's kind of, and you should be making longer videos to kind of achieve that, you know? You know, making a few, you know, five minute videos here or something like that, that's it's kind of going to hurt that. So it's, uh, if your viewer duration is 10%, people are only watching, or 8%, 8% of your videos, 
you're not doing a very good job of engaging your audience. So definitely um, you need to up your game as far as the content that you're putting out, not really the titles. I got pissed off. So I went on Twitter and I said, if you're following me and you don't like me, unfollow me, right? You guys probably saw that. I was like, unfollow me, like in caps, all caps. Just a word of advice, if you ever want somebody to not do something, don't tell them to do it. If you say unfollow me, you can guarantee you're going to get way more followers doing that. So maybe that was your intention. I don't know. That's just what I've what I've seen. You know, people like, uh, oh, don't post this or don't retweet this or don't make memes out of getting Childish Gambino and look what happens. <laughs> exactly what you asked them not to do. I don't mind people thinking that some of my titles are clickbait. I don't mind because you know what? It's my channel. I can do whatever I want on my channel, including put whatever title I want. I don't tell nobody else how to do their job. I hope they don't tell me how to do my job. So I don't, I really don't mind. So this was taken from the YouTube Terms of Service uh, Community Guidelines. It says spam, misleading data, and scams. Everyone hates spam. Don't create misleading descriptions, tags, titles, or thumbnails in order to increase views. So actually somebody is telling you how to do your job. It's YouTube. And you know how frustrating it is when people get the wrong information like you just want to like scream and uh if you break enough of these then you can get striked you can have your account taken away you can get all sorts of bad things so i mean your titles should always intrigue and never deceive you know i do that with my titles they're big like caps and you know i try and make something interesting and eye-catching you know and you know i don't think i've ever lied about the con content of one of my uh, videos so you know that's walking a slippery slope if you want to go down that way but lots of people do it and they get away with it i mean look at lance stewart's one of them for example he's one of the worst actually i think uh, the paul brothers are up there too so i don't know playing with fire on uh on their high horses <laughs> anyways they've been kind of uh you know vigilant about people taking streams and VODs, like video archives from other streamers that work really hard to try to put it on YouTube and monetize from it. So other people, as you've seen, I'm sure you've seen so many channels like that. One that you might be familiar with is Hacking Freak, right, in the FGC, mostly NRS, but he used to upload a lot of streams from like Team Spooky and from Tekken and uh, you know, any stream, like, you know, the streamy uh, tournaments, the tournaments on streamy, he would upload all of that and he would monetize them. And as much as people hated him, they also loved him. They loved to hate him. <laughs> so he grew very quickly and he got to like 70,000 subs and, you know, he was getting like 8 million views a month. And this is the first point that I wanted to make is that um, nobody really liked this guy in the FGC. Everyone hated him. I know Insomniac's been on a mission to try and take him down. Uh, lots of people have been trying to get him to stop. He's actually admitted that what he's doing is wrong, but he keeps doing it. So, just, you know, the people that love him are just people that are very, very casual, that don't understand what he's doing, which I guess is another reason why I'm making this video. Um, so that's my comments on that part. Yo, it takes so long to make those Fortnite videos. Oh my god, it takes so long, but you know what? The ad revenue behind it is crazy. Do you guys know how much money I'm making from the Fortnite videos? Crazy, okay? I feel like that comment right there is really telling of her, um, kind of outright bragging about how much money she's making off a community like Fortnite. Um, I think one of the guys said it in the chat that uh, that's just kind of like not a thing that you should do. I mean, a lot of douchey YouTubers do it, I guess. You got like your Jake and Logan Pauls and your Rice Gums and those kind of things. So especially if you have like a smaller community like, like that, you know, yeah, creators need to make money so that we can keep creating and doing what we love to do. Not making off the community uh, is the way that YouTube works. YouTube ad revenue is different based on the, uh, the videos that you post. So based on the different games that you post. So because Fortnite is, I think, the biggest game in the world right now. Um, if you reach a certain amount of views, it gives you a certain amount of ad revenue per video. It's it's boring, but you know, it's I'm just saying it's so much different from all my other videos. <laughs>
yeah, that's just like kind of crossing a line. And looking at her Fortnite videos, there's not a whole lot of views on them. So I don't see how she's making this money because how YouTube works is there's a cost per mill that's associated with your channel. So for the mill is a thousand. So for every thousand views, on an, it's on an ad, by the way. It's not on um, like per video. It's per ad that's watched. So if you have two ads in your video, 2,000 people watch both ads. You know, that's twice the cost per mill. So for every 1,000 people that see an ad, you get, I think it's like, it, it can vary. Like a really high CPM is around 10 or $11, and the lower one's around 2 or 3 So I'm assuming she's probably somewhere in the middle, um, which if you do the math, doesn't really add up to lots of money. But I just, I feel like there's just a lot about YouTube she just doesn't understand, and that a lot of people don't understand. So I, this is, again, a reason why I decided to make this, to help educate some people. So I don't know. That's my thoughts on that. She jinky dink. Okay, we'll just call him Dink. Uh, I tweeted at Dink and I told him he steals content from NRS. Yeah, he does. He he uploads the Watchtower streams as well, so that's kind of weird. But anyways, uh... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You're gonna accuse me of stealing content? Excuse me? He steals content from NRS. Yeah, he does. He he uploads the Watchtower streams as well. He, he uploads the Watchtower streams as well. I'm sorry, you're saying I did what? Yo, I was having my tea. I'm just over here drinking my tea. Who's gonna call me out on that? Fake news? I feel like this is the video you're talking about. I'm just gonna show it to you here while I play with my hair. Boot and chance. As you can clearly see, I finally got the chance to sit down and watch the Netherrealm stream. Transformative content. It's allowed. What you're doing, straight up stealing. Roasted. All fine as long as you have permission and don't monetize. Yeah, that's exactly the case. That's exactly the case. Oh yeah, your videos demonetized. Is that exactly the case? That's exactly the case. That's exactly the case. That's exactly the case. Turn on the video, and what's the first thing I see? An ad. I can't cover my beautiful face. An ad. Within three seconds. Look at this. Two more ads, and one final ad at the end. So no, you didn't demonetize it. And don't say, but well, you did that after you talked to NRS, because I know you didn't. We all know you didn't. And I think that's all we need to say around here. So there is no redemption for Little Princess, unfortunately. She's just uh, another scumbag YouTuber stealing content, being lazy. And uh, yeah, not really getting anywhere with it. So best of luck to you. You're about one makeup tutorial away from a basic bitch YouTuber. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Stay roasted.